With parts of the Coda Territory seeing snow last night, many are thinking of ways to stay warm. Coda Territory's Hannah Hutter was at Western South Dakota Community Actions weatherization demonstrations today and learned how to keep heating costs down. Western South Dakota Community Action celebrated the Department of Energy's 48th anniversary of weatherization programs by holding pressure house demonstrations, insulation blowing demonstrations, and showed how to prevent catastrophic events in homes. WSDCA has many programs for those working their way out of poverty, one being the weatherization of homes, not just to save money, but also to keep people healthy. Low income people survive by making things happen and sometimes that's not up to code. In other words, they make themselves into dangerous situations. As part of the final inspection is uh, making sure that all th everything is operating the way it's supposed to be as far as the HVAC goes and uh, making sure that no carbon dioxide is gonna happen in that home. WSDCA's operations manager said weatherization of homes doesn't just benefit the current occupant, but also the community. The city has increasing aging housing stock and the more we can keep these older homes livable the longer that those homes are available for people to live in. Thompson said he knew of many people who had their lives saved by the weatherization work WSDCA provides. It's one of the most gratifying things you can ever do um, especially when you find the life safety issues and you actually save people's lives. It's, it's a very gratifying job. For more information about Western South Dakota Community Action and their programs like weatherization, visit CodaTV.com. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Hannah Hutter.